Hi everyone, I'm Michelle and welcome back to Get Hot, Stay Hot. Today I want to talk to you about the push-up. Now, we've all seen them, we've seen them done a, do you know, a dozen different ways, everybody's tried it, but the truth of the matter is it's an awesome workout because you're killing about five birds with one stone because of all the muscles that you're working with just one movement. And that's a great way to shorten you know, everything that you're doing when you're going to do your workout routine. You don't have to do little body parts and break them up because if you can get it all done in one shot, why not? So with the push-up, you're going to work your chest, your shoulders, your back, your triceps, your bicep. You're also working your core muscles, your abdominals, and your lower back. And we all need that. So for women, I realize a lot of you, either just starting out or a lot of women, can't really do a full push-up. And that's okay because there's a lot of things that you can do, or a couple things that you can do, really, to start out. And so I'm just going to demonstrate that for you. A basic push-up for somebody who's just getting started building your upper strength would be to start on your knees. And like anything else, form is very important. You want to keep your whole back in line, basically if you think about a straight line from your uh, bottom of your body to the top. And you want to start off with your arms about shoulder width apart and you just lower your body down. Very simple. And pretty much everybody's going to be able to do one. Um, you want to just do as many as you can at this stage if it's, um, if it's easy for you. So you just, again, slow and controlled, lower your body and back up. Now, there's a lot of ways to do it wrong. You see people pushing them out, doing you know fast push-ups. That's really not going to do anything for you. You want to do it slow and controlled. So for those of you who are maybe a little bit more advanced, you can you can do push-ups on your knees no problem. And you want to do a regular push-up. That's great. And again, there's variations. You want to start maybe with your arms straight, um, about shoulder width apart, and just lower your body slowly. And notice I'm keeping my whole back straight. And you hear a lot of talk these days about plank position. And I'm seeing people that are doing um, it like this. And that's great. That's going to be a, an awesome core exercise for you. But really, true plank and yoga, that's where it started, is up at this level. And that, just by staying here, and again, doing the isometrics that we've talked about, obviously I'm out of breath, so you can tell that it's really working, is, is enough alone. So if, maybe you want to go from starting on your knees and then just holding yourself in plank until you get enough strength to where you can uh, work your way up. Gosh, I'm really out of breath. I need to get working. So in this um, position, you can vary it by just changing your hand positions and changing your arms. And so by going wider, you're working different muscles in different ways. And another uh, great variation on that is to um, bring them closer together, which is in yoga, you go from plank to chaturanga. And it's coming down like this. And this is really, you're hitting your triceps probably more than anything, which is a great, a great thing and you just slowly come up like this. Now, I would say that's a little bit more advanced, but if you can do a full push-up and you want to just change it a little bit, that's a, that's a great another level to go to. And then you can always make it a little bit harder. You can use weights. Let's say you don't want to invest in fancy things like this, which is a great thing too. Then you can just use your weights. And it gives you a little bit more height, a little bit more height up here and then depth when you're coming down. Make it a little bit more challenging and slow and controlled. Notice I'm keeping my whole back in line. You don't want your butt to go up in the air and you don't want it to come down like this. You're gonna strain your lower back by doing that. Now, if you're already crazy fit like Body Rock TV or you've been doing P90X for three months, you can always invest in some of these. They're push-up bars and they're gonna give you a greater depth to your push-up. For you gentlemen who you're like, oh, push-ups, no problem, do it all day long, you can also do incline push-ups. And that can be done with anything where you can raise your feet. So you just put your feet up on any surface, and again, it's just going to, um, well, obviously, you're getting more height out of it, so it's making it more challenging. And then you want to be really careful and do this one slow. So there you have it, the basic push-up from easy to hard. And obviously, I'm out of breath, so I think that's what I'm going to just keep doing is more push-ups to, to get myself further along and make myself stronger. So there you have a bunch of different variations on the basic push-up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on Get Hot, Stay Hot.